Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 48, The Merchant Adventurer, by Patrick E. McLean. This book by Patrick E. McLean was awesome. I listened to the audiobook narrated by the author. He is a fantastic narrator. His delivery of all the characters' lines were so good. He got the voice for the protagonist perfectly. The wizard and an interesting orc character, I distinctly remember them all, and they were unique and interesting voices that really brought the story alive and made the fantastic dialogue shine. Now, on to the story. I really enjoyed the story. I was never bored, which sadly I can't say about many novels. First off, I love adventure stories. This was an adventure story that was very different. You can tell by the title. What? A merchant going on an adventure? Yes. But he's what you might expect from Patrick, a character who uses his brains and wit to get what he wants. He's not swinging a sword. He's not out for glory. He never set out to be a hero. As much as I love fantasy for all its tropes, it was refreshing to read a story with a very different kind of protagonist. The wizard was a great character, too. A bit of what we expect except when it comes to his personality. He was a fun antagonist. Another great thing about this story is that I was never able to guess what was going to happen next. In a way that Baltak, the main character, might say it, this ain't your ordinary adventure, kid. Something else I liked was the prose. Usually, it was snappy, witty dialogue that had me laughing a lot. Sometimes, however, there were remarkable phrases elegantly describing things of beauty. More quiet moments where you weren't waiting for the next laugh, but carefully reading or listening to each word. When you get to chapter 37, you'll see what I mean. Great writing. So yeah, I gave this novel a five-star rating, because it was a blast to read, had fantastic writing, and I'm really glad I gave it a go. Awesome. Well, I have great news for you, the listener of this podcast. Audible is offering a free audiobook for checking out their service. And you can get The Merchant Adventurer, written and narrated by Patrick E. McLean, for free if you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Now, if you go there, you can get one audiobook of your choice, any audiobook of your choice, for free. You get a free audiobook and a free 30-day trial. But I would highly recommend The Merchant Adventurer. And as I go there right now to audible.com, I see that it has tons of five-star reviews, and many of them say how much fun the book was to listen to, and how much fun it was uh, as a fantasy story that is different and refreshing. So go and get it for free, or any other audiobook of your choice, at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. And if you get one and start a free trial... You're helping support the show. So thank you to Audible for its sponsorship of this show, and thank you to you. Now, let's get back to that review. Oh man, yeah, I've uh, listened to Patrick's other stuff. And um, he I think he had one with a ton of kind of essays. I can't remember what it was called now, but... <laughs> all of them were, like, witty and hilarious and very well written. He's a talented author, and when it comes to this story, it's no different. But other than beautiful prose, you are also going to get beautiful narration of the story with awesome different character voices, and it's hilarious. But I think the coolest thing about this story is the fact that it just totally um, turns all of the fantasy tropes on its head. 
I think he also writes and works for video game companies. And so I heard him describing it once as like, think of yourself as playing a video game, a fantasy adventure, and your hero with all of the swords strapped to his back. And I'm probably putting words in his mouth now, but I'm just paraphrasing what I remember goes to the merchant and you know the merchant is just there he's just this character trying to make a living what if that ordinary merchant was the hero of the story not only that he wasn't like the chosen one or after glory he was just out trying to make a buck and happened to be a, a reluctant hero that has to go on a quest so that's just a really cool idea from the get-go to me and the way he pulled it off was fantastic. Uh, there's also, there is a character who wants to be that hero of time, the sword-wielding um, knight in shining armor, and he's kind of a, a bumbling idiot that sort of goes along on the adventure with the merchant and, uh, and the wizard. As I remember, uh, some of the dialogue that Patrick gave to the wizard even though he's evil and he's a bad guy, it was hilarious. So, if you're looking for a really good time, check out The Merchant Adventurer by Patrick E. McLean, and I, I know you won't be disappointed. I can't wait to see what uh, he comes out with next. So, yeah, that's what I've got for you guys. I hope as this summer's coming to a close, the fall leaves are turning from greens to oranges and yellows and reds, and that cold weather is creeping in. I hope that you'll go inside, turn up the heat, and curl up with a good book. I'd love to hear from you. You can just write the show. Just go to dandantheartman.com, and my email is just in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, drop me a line, or just go to that website and leave a comment on the blog post that goes with this. I'm an Audible member myself. I always have Audible credits to use. And if there's a book that you've heard a ton about and I have not reviewed yet, drop me a line. I'll check it out for you and let you know what I think. It might be that I've already read it and I already have a review and I just haven't gotten to reading that review yet. If that's the case, I'll put it to the top of the list. Um, because I have, I'm trying to read 65 books this year. Last year I read 56. No, I think I'm trying to read 60 this year. I'm a little behind, but I think I'll get there. Anyway... Uh, thanks to audiobooks and Siri reading me ebooks, I'm able to do a lot of reading on my commutes, which is two hours every weekday. And so I'm able to get through a ton of books, and I review all of them on my website at dandantheartman.com. And so I am, like, let's see here. Today, I am reading a review that I posted on January 24th, 2014. That's why I was excited about this podcast. Tons of people have commented on Goodreads and Amazon that they liked my review and it helped them decide on a book. And I thought, why not podcast my reviews? That'd be fun. And the other cool thing is, I will never run out of material. Because I'm constantly finishing and reviewing new books. And as I'm going through my website, I'm kind of just picking out the ones that I loved. At first, I kind of thought maybe I should review... I should put all of the reviews... That way people don't think I just love every book and then my credibility goes out the window because, oh, Dan just loves everything. But then I figured I have so many reviews, I don't know if I'll ever get current, like finish a book, write a review, post it on my website, and then record the podcast episode. I'll probably never get there, but I'm going to try and catch up. So anyway, I figured why not just, I, I post the reviews if I like it or not on my website, Goodreads and Amazon, but I'm just going to save the ones for the podcast that I loved. So anyway, that's what you're getting here. And I hope you're enjoying it. I hope it's encouraging you to read. And I hope it's helping you find new books to read and check out. I try to never include any spoilers. So I hope you appreciate that and that it's serving you well. Hope you guys uh, had a great summer of reading. And as we turn the corner towards fall here... I hope that you're finding lots of great books to read as you're uh, forced to stay inside. Why not grab a book? Or an audiobook? Alright, that's all I got for you guys this week. Happy reading, and we'll see you next time. Mike, take it away.
This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at dandantheartman. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma, saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time.